What do you know about turtles? The children in this class are learning many things about them. With the help of Mrs. Harris, they can see that a turtle has a hard shell that protects its body. When a turtle is bothered, it will pull its head and legs into its shell. Turtles do not have teeth, but a turtle's jaws have hard, sharp edges which it uses for biting food. When a turtle closes its eyes, the bottom eyelid goes up. The turtle has sharp claws which it uses for holding and tearing its food. Between this turtle's toes, there are pieces of skin. This is called webbing. Web toes are very useful. They help a turtle swim. Web toes are often found on animals that spend much of their lives in water, as this turtle does. Other kinds of turtles live on land. This turtle, like others that live in water, can stay under water for a long time, but it still has to come up for air. It breathes air just as you do. Now, Mrs. Harris is going to read a story about a turtle. In the story, animals will talk and think as we do. Of course, we know they can't do this, but it's fun to pretend. Here is the story. Once upon a time, in a quiet pond, there lived a turtle. His name was Tuffy, and he had a shell like other turtles. He didn't mind his shell when he was swimming, but when he came out of the water, his shell made him slow and clumsy. And, of course, he had to carry his heavy shell with him everywhere he went. Sometimes the other animals made fun of him because he was so slow. One day, a plump frog croaked, Let's race to the water, Tuffy. But Tuffy knew the frog was just teasing him. He could never win a race with a frog. Then he saw his friend, the snake. Let's play tag, Tuffy, the snake said. You're it. Catch me if you can. Tuffy knew he could never catch the snake. How he wished he didn't have to carry his heavy shell with him everywhere he went. He wished he could be like his friend who was sitting up on the fence. This little lizard. He didn't have a shell. How quickly he could move. If only Tuffy could move that fast. Tuffy felt so unhappy, he decided to leave the pond and find a place where the other animals wouldn't make fun of him. As he crawled away from the pond, he met one of his relatives, a snapping turtle. Tuffy asked him, do other animals make fun of you because you're slow? Oh, no, said the snapping turtle. If animals made fun of me, I'd snap at them with my hard, sharp jaws. But Tuffy wasn't a snapping turtle. He didn't want to snap at anyone. As he crawled slowly along, he saw his friend, the snail. Where are you going, Tuffy? The snail asked. Away from here. The other animals tease me because my shell makes me slow. I have a shell and I'm slow, but I don't mind, said the snail. It's good to have a shell. Good for what? asked Tuffy. If you don't know, said the snail, you'll find out. But Tuffy was sure he would never find a good use for his shell. So he went on his way. Soon he came to something he had never seen before, even though it passed right by the pond. It was a highway, but Tuffy didn't know it. He decided to see what lay on the other side. The other animals in the pond nearby watched him go. 
Watch out, called the little lizard. It's dangerous there, croaked the frog. You're crossing the highway, hissed the snake. Would Tuffy get safely to the other side? The snail hoped he would. At last, Tuffy was across the busy highway and safe again. As he stopped to rest, a slow-moving caterpillar came by. I'm very slow, said Tuffy. So am I, said the caterpillar. Let's crawl together. The caterpillar crawled. And Tuffy was glad. At last he had a friend without a shell who was just as slow as he was. The caterpillar crawled up and over a large rock. Tuffy tried to follow him, but his shell got in the way. Tuffy wasn't hurt, but it was so hard for him to turn over. He was certain that a shell was of no use at all. Now, while he was trying to turn over, Something was coming. A dog. Just in time, Tuffy turned himself over and saw that the dog was coming. But what could Tuffy do? He couldn't run away. How could he protect himself? Tuffy pulled himself into his shell, and the dog couldn't hurt Tuffy at all. He was safe inside his hard shell. Oh, this shell is too hard for me, the dog growled. And soon he gave up and went away. My shell saved me, thought Tuffy. How lucky I am to have a hard shell. Now Tuffy wanted to tell all the animals of the pond how good it was to have a shell. But would Tuffy have to crawl back over the dangerous highway again? Tuffy saw something that went under the highway. It was a long pipe. Would this be a safe way to get back to the pond? It seemed like it might. So Tuffy crawled into the pipe. It was dark inside but Tuffy was safe. And in a little while, he came out at the other end of the pipe. And there was his pond again. You can imagine how happy he was to be back. As he tried to hurry back to the water, he passed the snail. The snail called down to him, Did you enjoy your trip? No, said Tuffy, but I learned something. A shell is a good thing to have. It protects you. I knew you'd find out, laughed the snail. A shell is very useful. Tuffy crawled back to his pond and then called to the animals who lived there, a shell is a good thing to have. Even though my shell makes me slow, it protects me. And from that day on, Tuffy was glad to have a shell. He was glad to be a turtle.